everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices, one topic or one feature at a time. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you're able to edit photos or videos in bulk to where you're able to save space on your device. Now, anytime that you go inside of your gallery and you make any type of edits or changes, you are able to revert back to the original. Now, what I'm about to show you, you are not able to go back to the original once you do it through this application. Now, this is just one of those things where if you want to, you can do save copy, so this way you can have both, but I just wanna share with you how you can do it in bulk. I just wanted to give you that little disclaimer at the beginning. Now, first, what you need to do is head right over into uh, this little link that I can place below the video inside the description. This is just APK Mirror. It's a way that you're able to get the latest updates on a bunch of different applications. So all of these are all just Samsung applications, and what I'm showing you is Gallery Assistant. So if you want to download this application, I will be placing it again as a link below the video inside the description. It's just called Gallery Assistant. It gives you additional tools that you're able to do with all of your pictures and videos. So what you do is once you have it downloaded, you install it into your phone. This is where you have all of these different tools. You can reduce size, rotate and flip, image clipper, watermark, compare images. Uh, you can also save a PDF or you can even do printing. There's a lot of really cool things you can do here. And a lot of this you cannot do in the regular Samsung Gallery app. You can edit photos and pictures. You can do them all individually and one at a time. But this allows you to do everything in bulk. Now, for this example, I'm just going to do a re, uh, reduce the size of a video. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to bring down the quality or resolution. So when you bring this down, yeah, you can take it down and you can make it smaller. But again, once you do it through this application, you cannot go back and revert it back to the original size. Now in the gallery, you can. You can go through and you can change the size and resolution. And after you change that size and resolution, you can revert it back into normal. This is again, a way you can do you know, up to 500 videos or pictures at the exact same time. I at least just wanna show you the tools that you have. I will not bring down my resolution. I wanna keep it as high as possible. But this one was recorded in H.264. That's the, that's the video format. That's the codec of what I shoot. And it's because I just want it to be the most compatible so I can do anything and everything I want with it, share it anywhere I want. You can, if you would like to, just save space and switch it to HEVC. So if I have a ton of videos on my phone and I just want to save space and bring down the 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 size that it's being stored in. This is just HEVC, it's more efficient, so it just brings the size down. Uh, it's kind of like it's compressing it a little bit while keeping the resolution and the quality. So for this one right now, this one is basically 3.2 gigs. I'm just gonna change it over into a different codec. And again, I can do this with a ton of videos. I don't have to just do one at a time. But for the sake of this video, because it is, you know, one of those quicker videos that I shoot, this one is a six minute video. So it's going to take a little time. I'm going to show you how much space it has saved. Now, once this is done and it's saved, it will automatically just be saved just like this in the gallery. Now that it's complete, it'll let you know that it went from that 3.17 gig down to 3.1. Now, taking a look at that video, this is the one that we just got done editing. You can see that it is now in the HEVC file format. It went from 3.17 down over into 3.1. Now, if this was a longer video, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it would have saved you more space than what this little short video has done. And here is one that I did that was very similar. Again, this one was the H.264. It's a more compatible file format for a video. And you can see this one was still that 3.17. So the, the quality is all there. The resolution is all there. It just kind of condensed the video just a little bit. And it still works on your phone and you can do all the stuff that you ever need to do with it. Now, when you're taking a look at this one inside your gallery, which this right here is the gallery, this is where if you, if you want to make any edits within the gallery itself, this is where you do it. On the top right hand side, after you hit that little edit button, this is where you can change the size and the format. So you can do this individually, one at a time. So again, you can change the, the resolution and later on you can change it back. I just wanted to show you that there is an application that allows you to do all of this in bulk rather than going one at a time. And that is really just the portion or the, the purpose of today's video. And that is the application right here that is made by Samsung for Samsung. It's a brand new application that just got launched and it's called Gallery Assistant. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, so famous, number one, desirable. I do what I want when I want.
in how I want it Leave you with the one in 